Today we're having a bit more of a relaxed, laid back sort of day. We're just gonna take a walk about through town. There's a huge park here called Pukakura Park, so we're gonna go and check that out as well today. We've been in New Plymouth for about four, five days now, and we have not taken the time to visit the city. So I'm gonna go drop the car to the panel beater, because guess what? There's more work to be doing on the car. We have brought in a couple of things on the map that we wanna see, but we're just taking the time to just walk around the city and enjoy it for ourselves. <laughs> I like how you're headed for the zoo. So as Robin was getting his phone repaired, we had a go on the smart balance wheel. We are making our way to Pukekura Park. We can sort of see it in the distance, a load of trees everywhere, we just head for the trees. And when we get there, there's signs for numerous like bushwalks and things, and also pointing to different points of interest. Waterfall. So Pukekura Park is the main garden in the city centre of New Plymouth. It's, it's actually really, really cool. There is a couple of ponds and lakes with ducks. There is some iconic red bridges. For there's a water wheel, there's a play park, there's lookouts, there's more walks. Like, there's so much stuff you can do in this park. And yeah, you get some waterfalls and some real ones and some fake ones. You've got some kids area to play around with and there's one which is like turning this wheel and you fill up a bucket of water and then it opens and goes down and then there's a small dam and then you open the dam and then the water goes you know keep on going so I'm having fun playing around with that it's you know I have no shame to admit it oh my god this is madness To go to the park is absolutely free, so we having a ball, having a free activity to do. Laura's Instagramming very quickly. <laughs> okay, I'm good, I'm good. Robin thought it would be a great idea to bring a city map, you know, one of these paper maps of the city and take that round with us for some reason. He's like, okay, you be in charge of the map. And obviously it starts raining, the map gets soaked. We're gonna get lost. And it's all because of the rain. <laughs> I've never seen a bit of paper so soggy in my life. <laughs> we are in this area somewhere. <laughs> um, Devon Street. Let's walk down this, this way. Well, this way is like the main street with some shops on and stuff. So, Lola, where are we? Um, I think we are, we're at the museum. And at some point it stops raining while we're walking around. Basically the plan today is just to head around, walk around. Um, there's a couple of places that we want to check out, so like actual place, like the, you know, something place. And yeah, that's Basically, it's, it's a very artsy city. There's mural everywhere. I mean, you know, you just walk around there. Oh, mural here, mural there, mural here, mural there, mural, mural, mural. Ooh, mural here, mural there. Like, oh, oh, what, you, uh, what is it? What is, oh, a mural here. There's mural everywhere. It's crazy. Murals, murals, murals everywhere.
And we also stopped by the Richmond Cottage to check out what this historical part of New Plymouth has to offer. Sadly, it was closed, so we just took a few pictures and then, well, we were on our way. So there's all sorts of crazy things to see all over the city and this is something we totally underestimated about New Plymouth. Like we had no idea there was so much going on inside the CBD itself. There's cities like Wellington and Christchurch that have a reputation for being an artsy city but I think New Plymouth itself probably beats that reputation. Just no one knows about it. You've got to get off the beaten track to go find it. Because we don't have much electricity in the camper, Laura and I play a lot of ball games. So every time we see an op shop, we're going to get some ball games. That's not the first time that you see me in an op shop, but we really, really need some new games. We have been playing the same like three games for quite a while, so that's why I'm taking some time to try to find something here. But there was nothing really good, so we went on our way quite quickly until Laura lost us. So Laura kind of lost us today, right somewhere called Strandon, I guess. So we're walking down the beautiful night street of New Plymouth, and Robin is in a great mood. Why are you in a great mood, Robin? Because I wave at the bus, at the bus stop, and you just drive way past me. <laughs> I am pissed! But look, fairy lights. Luckily we did catch a ride with a friendly local and that was a great wrap up for our day in New Plymouth. We've seen a lot, the city has heaps to offer and that was definitely worth spending a whole day exploring it. You just walk around with the map and everything else like, Laura, it's, it's raining, you're just gonna ruin the map. That, that is going to happen. And she's like, no, 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 that's, that is not going to happen, I promise. You know, hold them up. Where's the keys? <laughs> I wasn't bitching about her. 